that sounds awful. <laughs> Did it? Okay. Ooh, yeah. Uh, hopefully it doesn't do that in match. <laughs> oh, yep. Don't forget to use your meter. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I was really hoping you'd like forget to faultless the uh the stun edge on the way down. <laughs> I'm like, this is galaxy brain, and then you remembered and I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> Yep. I realized I hadn't gone for a throw. I'm like, I know what'll do it. <laughs> Generally, I think you'd want to use probably 2P or 2K there, but... Oh, yep. It worked out. Oh. Yeah, I need to get way tighter on that.
Oh my god. <laughs> oh. All right. Yep. Gotcha. Oops. Mm -hmm. I see you have found your no, it's my turn button. <laughs> Whew. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think on both ends, actually. <laughs> I was just trying, uh, like, my goal with that, and here, let me, whoopsies, uh, just change the setting real quick. Uh, my entire goal with that was just to, uh, like, hit an extended 5H or something. <laughs> Oh yeah, for sure. Are you having some of the troubles coming back like a uh, faultless defense to break an air block though? Because that's the thing that always screws me up. That and like trying to run up faultless in BB tag and just getting fucking counter hit. <laughs> oh, sure. Best 2D I've ever done. Ah, damn. The ball set? Ooh, good 6p. Uh, probably. I'm not sure it would have actually worked there. Um, so what happened there is I've been going for 6H, which leaves me plus, but I have to dash up to reset pressure, and you've been mashing out of it, uh, which A, is like, for how I've been doing it, very good, but B, means that I have been dashing up way too far. <coughs> um, but so I realized that you'd been punishing me for it uh, pretty reliably, so instead I did 6H, 
and just left like the tiniest little gap to stun dipper in because that covers the range for me uh, and i had the meter to either kill if it connected or rrc and reset pressure in the corner so i'm not sure you would have had time to get the stinger out but as far as being like a mash out option there yeah if it had worked then that would have been one of the things that could have actually gotten you out of that situation for real Oops, yep. Oh. oh, okay. Hi, DP. How are you doing? just like that situation. Oh, okay. That ended up working out very well for you, though, because that was one of the few things that I couldn't pick up off of uh, counter hit greed sever. <laughs> Ooh, yep. Ah, uh, yes, I should remember to look at the opponent instead of myself. Wait, where'd he go? <laughs> Yep, I don't have meter. Yep. Yep. <coughs> What's up? Yeah. Because it didn't have the little wrong block triangle. Uh, so if you block incorrectly in this game, there's that little yellow triangle, uh, and it actually points whichever direction, so it'll like be a triangle with the like flat side on the bottom, so it's pointing up if it was an overhead, and down if it was a low. Uh, it's just right next to you. Here, uh, just like stand block, I'll just hit you with a low. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. <laughs> okay, I thought the wall would go away. Yeah. Whew. Good use of FD on the 6H there.
Okay. Thanks, Projectile YRC, for staying YRC-able even when it hits. <laughs> Uh, so it's specifically during startup, and yeah, I like I only had 25 meter there, but yeah, it costs less. There's some very minor differences, like the actual pause for the game is a bit longer than red, but for the most part, yeah, just cheaper and done in startup. And I'm getting a lot of those. Yep. Oh, okay. Probably shouldn't have used my burst there, actually, but I wanted the setup. Mm -hmm. Oops. Six P. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Did that go through a QV startup? Is that what that was? Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. I mean, now's a good time to. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I do like to throw a lot. I think that that's also a true punish in that situation. It definitely is if I get the instant block. Ooh, yeah.
Oh, yep. <laughs> I'm assuming that hits low enough to go through 6p, but I'm not sure, honestly, yeah. <coughs> Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. Oh. I guess that's not meaty off an air throw. Okay. That makes sense, actually. Six K. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Expecting me to move back. Well, I'm a run at ya. Yep. It's so tempting though, right?
Oh wow. Good blocks. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, that connects? Counter hit close slash into 6H is a true combo. What a world. I was just going for a pressure string on that one. Oh, yep, too late. Like, I have meter, I'm gonna just keep doing it. <laughs> that's pretty easy to do against, like, gear pressure sometimes. Like, that's definitely something I still end up doing a lot. Um, try and just, like, look for... Well, okay, just. But try and, like, pick a move to look for and try and keep track of when I use it and try and mash out around there. Uh, like I assume, eh. like I assume uh, if you look for when I go for 6H, generally I can't, or you can't mash out after it, but before, like as it's coming out, when you think I'm gonna go into it, you can probably either mash with like a really fast button or just like super jump instant air dash out especially because if you do manage to like super jump up and make me whiff then I'm in that whole 6H animation for you to get out and like move to full screen mm -hmm. and that is that is a call out but like realistically defense and gear kind of just is a call out <laughs> on cross-up stuff, right? That's neat.
Oop. Yep. Okay, so actually, yeah, thinking about it, I want you to focus on one thing while you're in the corner, and that's just like getting out of it, whether by poking out and actually like dragging both of us out of the corner, which is a little bit harder as Venom, but like you are managing to poke out, you're just not being able to get me back to mid screen. Um. I mean, just something to focus on, but that and then I want you to look for specific points to super jump, air dash, uh, out of the corner, because especially for Venom, just like, hmm? Well, here, real quick, uh, when you super jump air dash, what I generally do is I wait until I'm up here to air dash, because you want to, like, you want to hold down back, right? And then you hit up and faultless. I guess you have to tap. And you. Oh, I don't have meter. Okay. But yeah, because that way you faultless in case they do hit you before you're out of there. And then you just lose some meter. Um, but then once you're up here and you can see that you actually got out, then you just double tap forward. And if I, like, you know, whiff this under you, you have time to. Yeah. And then I can like chase, but you are no longer here. You're now here, uh, specifically with me towards the corner. <laughs> or if you say have a ball out uh, as Venom, you super jump teleport. Yeah, this is like the one and only. Or, sorry, I guess as Kai, I have to use it in one of my combos. But yeah, same here. Mm-hmm. Oh, here, hit me. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, I was just trying to... Oh, here, actually, let's just head back to the... Oh, whatever. Yeah, just... F <laughs> uh, just try and focus on, uh, if you are in the corner, the super jump out stuff. <laughs> Not used to actually doing anything off of it. That's fair. Okay, here. I'm gonna do uh, two, maybe three more as Kai, and then I'm gonna swap off Kai for a little bit, and I'll go back to him later. Um, for right now, though, just like number one thing I want you to focus on is escaping the corner and specifically looking for places to use the super jump stuff. Even if it doesn't like actually succeed, just like looking for places to use it and seeing where it's the right idea is super important. Oh, 
Oh my god, 12 active frames, thank you. Good idea there, though. Yeah. So that DP also definitely almost caught. It was supposed to be Stun Edge. <laughs> so, like, that was a good time to jump. <laughs> I'm just forgetting... Blitz, where'd you come from? Oh, yep, good dodge. Oh. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's like almost a reversal, right? It like trades or something? I don't remember. I, yeah, I know that you can use it to like pseudo backdash things, basically. <coughs> Speaking of which, wake up backdash is a very good thing to learn that will get you absolutely murdered. Oops. Oh, yep. Yeah. You saw the situation, though. Oh my god. Good pick up, though. I think that you have a bit of a habit of poking out with QV that's kind of similar to my habit as Kai of thinking that 2D is my poke out button. Um, I don't know where either of us got this habit from, <laughs> but... <laughs> hmm. 
Mm, mm hmm. And yeah, it can definitely be a good option, but uh, especially just like knowing that you're against me, I like to run in. <laughs> so. That's a good way to steal corner. Big stun edge. Hmm? Yeah. Big stun edge YRC mix up is mean. <laughs> Ah, yep. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. I mean, that is. That is gear in a nutshell. Like, the actual path to improvement in gear is almost exclusively just learning how to handle the insane amount of like pressure and just crazy stuff going on at any given time. Oh, and uh, last one for Kai for now and then I'm gonna swap. <coughs> Oh, wow, really? Yep. Uh, yeah, no, I was spacing outside of throw range. Potemkin would maybe have been able to grab me there, but I don't think anyone else...
Oh, yep. And were you trying to burst super, or...? Okay, you didn't have burst. That was the other issue. Oh, yep. Oh god, okay, I thought I was out of range. Oops. <laughs> I did not think about how much chip damage that did. Oh, but also, um, so actually, you could have killed me there when you hit the Blitz. Uh, you went for a QV instead, but that whole, like, crumple animation, you can actually just, like, run up and close slash me. Mm-hmm. And if you wait just a little while, then it uh, it does turn into a crouch confirm. Okay, let me... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yep, Blitz is... As long as you are catching, basically, uh, while you are catching something, you are fully invincible, uh, except to throws. Alright, I'll try this. This is going to be something you'll be fighting a lot, and this way you'll get a bit more opportunity to run pressure than against me playing Kai. Well, I have a lot of extra just like game sense time put in at this point. There's a reason people largely lose to my air throws as Kai. <laughs> Oops, too late. Yep. Oops. <laughs> okay. Okay. First thing I want you to do is get out of your own head about, oh no, I need to not lose to AJ's jam. Because I do that, and I can, like, feel you doing it. Basically, you are respecting my pressure way too much. <laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> Here, let me just give you another chance at it, I guess.
Oh, yep. fun. Okay. It's something Jam is very, very strong at as well, and you will be fighting three of them on Saturday. So definitely, like, lab your anti-Jam combos. Because <laughs> uh, it's... So it's Diamond Mew and Rossbrack and Bajalbsta all play jam. <laughs> Do you know what the full character breakdown is? Tyler? Okay. Uh, I'll walk through a couple basic things in a minute, because uh, there are some characters I can talk and play. Uh, Jam is not one of them yet. <laughs> Jam is super fun, though. Right. Okay, not that low. <laughs> Second one missed. Hey, I was going to do that, <laughs> but that is a good thing to do there.
Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, I think I was just slightly out of range. The general rule of throws is you throw by the nose. If you're not sure, and your noses aren't touching, you can't throw. <laughs> Because Jam does not have any throw immune moves, she just has fast movement. Uh, and, like, she has a super that's throw immune, because, you know, it's a reversal. But. <laughs> You're right. Okay, yep, there was definitely supposed to be a 2D in there. Yeah. Right, that's 5H. That's the wrong super. That was... That was max card. That is a DP that is very fast and horizontal. Yup. too early. Okay. Oh, and what's up? Um, I think for right now, I'd focus more on looking for specific points to FD. Just because of the strengths of Venom. not a good place to RC. I don't know how to do anything off that. <laughs> Ooh, good luck. Ooh. 
Okay. I will take that trade. <laughs> yep. So, let's see. Things I know about Jam. Uh, if she does her jump 2k, the where she jumps and, like, stalls for a second and then dive kicks, uh, if it's too close, you can throw it uh, on block or hit, unless it's our seed. Um, her... So her, like, dash forward move, you can do a second dash with the, like, after images, and that's, uh, has no hurt box above the ankles. There's a kick you can do out of it that's something I should actually be doing, because that's, like, a core pressure tool. It's a low, and it can be cancelled into her other kicks. There's the small puffball, and the big puffball. Big one's the one that can cross up. Uh, and small puffball can go into big puffball. I don't think dust does anything. Yeah, Jam's whole goal is she is just like super, super rushed down, as I'm sure you are aware. <laughs> uh, her cards, when they're leveled up, basically just make her moves better. They either give you knockdowns or make your DP a real DP or make your like horizontal kick move an even more real DP. <laughs> And what she wants to do is just get right up in your face and just, like, mix you up really hard. She has uh, pretty quick overheads, a million quick lows. Her 5k is, like, a godlike button. Um, and her tick throws, because she can convert off throws meterless. Uh, I cannot, <laughs> but Jam can. <laughs> So, basically, you want to... Yeah. <laughs> basically, your goal as Venom is to A, uh, not let me get in in the first place, and B, if I am in, you generally want to be looking for places to faultless me out, uh, or, like, a specific move or something if you're trying to instant block poke out, but I'm honestly not sure what of Jam's stuff is instant block punishable, if any of it, because most of it's, like, pretty safe, especially if cancelled into each other. Uh, but, if you do push her out, then she has to commit to an option to get back in, whether that's the dash forward that goes into multiple options, or, like, uh, 6H is a low crush, the one where she, like, flies forward and kicks up, but is, yeah, uh, the, like, the dash forward one, um, or, sorry, you might be thinking of Ryujin, the, like, the special kick, I'm talking about the one where she just, like, kind of skates forward on the ground with one leg up, uh, let's see, I can just, like, dash up is, of course, another option, but none of those are, like, super... None of those are, like, particularly plus if she gets back in without spending meter. So if you can force her to commit to something to get back in, you can then... Either she has to commit to a bad option and burn a bunch of meter, or while she's getting back in is your chance to poke out. And especially as Venom, if you can make me whiff a button by faultlessing the hit before, uh, then you just have so much more range than me that you can just, like, hit me. <laughs> Except this time you can do it well in block stun, you don't have to commit to reflect. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, that is my request for this game. Oh god. Is just look for places to faultless. And I actually probably need to be faultlessing less as this character. Oh. Good block. Ah, I can't 6p that. 
That's 6H. Oh, yep. See how I whiffed that 2H there, and you just hit me for it? That's exactly what you're looking for. Ah, oh. uh, okay. Oh, do you have to... Huh. Oh, I'm... I was trying to do a uh, jump 2k, but I think that you actually have to tap down and kick at the same time instead of just holding kick? No? Okay, never mind, I'm just like insane. Whatever! <laughs> oh. Yep, and it is an overhead. Oh no! <laughs> okay! <laughs> so, you did the correct thing for what I was trying to do. <laughs> uh, I don't think either of us expected charge card there. <laughs> That's so fucking fun. <laughs> They're just like, hi, I'm crossing up, Dash. That's what makes jam scary. Okay, one. Sure. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> okay, true. Well, that's a different kind of spooky.
Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready to tech it though, so it worked. over here <laughs> I guess <laughs> yeah Is a good button. <laughs> You've got good buttons. There is no doubt about that one. Ah, okay. Okay. Yup. I went for the RC and I'm like, I hope this kills in two hits because I got nothing after that. <laughs> Oh my god! Yep. I tried to jump. That second one was way faster. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, okay. That was a, uh, when in doubt, put him in a scramble, I know how to air throw. <laughs> I mean, part of it's going to be Venom is not a super scrambly character. <coughs> Though he's, like, honestly better than you'd think in them, just because of how fast his buttons are. But, uh, that and specifically what I took advantage of were gear, just, like, straight gear mechanics. The frame zero air throw, um, the certain moves only being blockable by air faultless. And then I actually tried to make you OTG into another throw, but you didn't tech it. Oh my god! Why do I keep thinking that links? Right. Dust is like a real move. Oh no! 2k. Uh, remember that you can also dodge air throws like that. Uh, by as weird as it is, uh, not teching. <laughs> oh my god, it was still active. <gasps> yeah, I believe it. Yeah, I can't low profile the ground. Those are all stingers. Okay. Hey, trust me, I still have input problems. I can't do my DP as L felt reliably, like. <laughs> and it's just double quarter circle forward. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go to another super unga rushdown character. We'll see how long I stick with them though, because I fucking hate charge inputs. <laughs> like, learn how to fight him, or? Okay. 
<laughs> so I was going to say, maybe you should learn Leo, because it will teach you how to be a, uh, or it will teach you how to, and quote, get in that ass. <laughs> Ah, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, yep. Well, I definitely thought that there would be like a dash forward with that one. There was not. Uh, well, I was trying to go for a super, and it did not come out. It is the dumbest fucking super in the entire game. <laughs> it's plus zero, it's a projectile, and it does like a third of your health. <laughs> and... <laughs> In the corner, you can combo two of them. <laughs> it's absurd. <laughs> but yeah, and it's plus zero, so, you know, if you're close enough, you just get hit in Super Freeze if you weren't already blocking. <laughs> so... <laughs> well, I'll see if I can get it out for you. Uh, that is a guard crush. Here it is. Yep. happens sometimes. Oh, yep.
klar. Ja. Yep. Yep. Uh, that is Rekka 2. It's just like it dashes forward and can cross up. And if it does cross up, it's plus. But it is his burst mobility, because otherwise he doesn't. He's actually like relatively slow unless he's pressing a button, because most of those move him forward. It's nuts. <laughs> Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. That's what Leo's good at. Was it forward? Okay. Yeah, it is. Yep. I think I might have just caught it because it stuck out so far. Into your pressure? Alright. See, this way I can't be like, nah, fuck you, it's my pressure. <laughs> or, excuse me, I am Unga Bunga Rushdown. So, 
your goal here is to get in the habit of pressuring me so that it comes more naturally. You think I could do that input? <laughs> I can. Cool. Yep, I'm Potemkin. I hit you like two times. Oh yeah, slight head. <laughs> sure. That is definitely not a combo under move. Yep, yep. <sighs> so let's see. What are you trying to do as your, like, what is your goal with your pressure and how are you going about it? Just like super in general. Uh, in general, your pressure with Venom, like even more specifically. Okay, so you are falling very directly into the trap that I did uh, when I was getting started. And, okay, I'm here. One second, I need to find a video in the Jam Discord. As whack as that sounds. Uh, one sec. Okay, jam pressure guide. And honestly, I should probably rewatch this too. But let me send it to you on Discord. <laughs> so the thing is, what you're thinking of as pressure is basically openers, like ways that you can 
open someone up, but that is not necessarily pressure. It's just a part of it. Uh, okay, here though. I'm just gonna go into, do you have the video up? Okay. Uh, are you like watching it through right now? Okay, then I'm gonna start mine too. Yeah, there we go. That first wall of text is basically what I wanted out of this video. <laughs> Pressure is not doing block strings, it's not doing frame traps, it's not uh, going for high lows or tick throws, it's specifically about changing the options that the opponent has to deal with very quickly in a way that leaves you an advantage. So as Venom, your pressure is essentially just option limitation. Your whole goal is to uh, either make people block as like the most direct way, or cover routes of movement with the balls, uh, or you know your crazy fast far slash and stuff like that. Uh, and for Venom, neutral and pressure overlap a lot. But then once you have someone in pressure. Uh, Honestly, I guess my Kai is like a pretty solid example. What do I actually do when I have you blocking, say, in the corner? It's run up, press somewhere between two and four buttons, and then go for 6H. And then if you block the 6H, I run up, take some space, and do it again with occasionally a greed sever or a tick throw thrown in. But realistically, the core of that is doing the handful of buttons into 6H. What I'm doing with those buttons is just removing your ability to do anything by holding you in that block string. So I get like a little bit of risk and whatever. Uh, and if you try and jump at the wrong time, I'll throw in a low so it'll catch that. But for the most part, I'm just kind of holding you there while I'm an advantage. Because what that advantage lets me get is, or it lets me like cash it in for something else, such as the 6H. As Venom, I would assume that you want to do a mix of mid range pressure, where you're just like, you know, harassing basically with far slash and 2S. Because if your opponent wants to come at you, they basically have the options of run at you, uh, we'll say swoosh at you, we'll just say you're fighting a jam, and air dash at you. And your more passive pressure is trying to just remove options from the table for your opponent. That's what far slash actually is, is it's not you being like, I am going to press this button because I want to land far slash and then they are going to take damage. Because uh, that can happen, but that is effectively random if you are just, I press this button because I want it to hit. What you should be trying to aim for is, okay, I think they are going to try and come in now, this will stop them, and I get damage if it hits. Or, if it blocks, hey, stinger, or whatever. And then, by showing that far slash, the, the like the next level of pressure, of like, I guess, passive pressure slash neutral with Venom, because again, they overlap pretty heavily, is, okay, I'm do, you're using far slash and you're using 2S because the jam likes to swoosh. By doing the 2S occasionally, you are putting even more pressure on them because you're raising the risk for doing swoosh because you've shown that you'll do something to beat that option. And now they are under more pressure to be like, I have to get in, otherwise my like game plan doesn't function. There is no answer here because if I swoosh, he keeps 2Sing. If I run at him, he keeps 2Sing and also far slashing. <laughs> uh, Maybe if I air dash at him, but maybe you've been 6P'ing as well. And that 
basically it puts pressure on the opponent to make a decision where risk reward is not in their favor or not as in their favor as they would like I don't know if I explained that particularly well, I'm never sure, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is definitely the super hard part. So I guess here. Uh, let me swap to something a little bit more concrete and immediately useful. Uh, one sec while I wish I knew Venom better and I like run through stuff in my head. <laughs> Honestly, I th sorry, I was going over that first because I think that that is what you are currently good at or like stronger at than the other side of that which is uh you're up close, you just made them block 2k. What do you do? <laughs> which is the much more active pressure. Um and that was actually where I was that's what I'm like trying to think of is like two to three just kind of canned block strings to start with and then work out of because that is okay here you know what let me uh once where is Sure, I'll be Christmas Venom. Uh, let's see. If we go over here into training mode, does it throw us into one player, or can you join? Okay. Then here, come over here. Let's both go into one player training mode. <laughs> Just for a second. Yeah. No worries. Okay, though, let's see. Yeah, I'll be Venom 8 then. Uh, and I'm a fight soul bad guy. Which one is Carcass Raid? The 2 8? Okay. Okay, let's see. Wait. Backspin? Oh, right. You can, like, hit forward or back, right? And it changes the angle? Okay. Okay. Right. I need to make them block if I'm testing block strings. <laughs> okay. So let's see. We're going to say you ran up. Uh, like, my whole goal here is to give you a can or two canned block strings off of just outside of throw range 2k. Hold up. I told you to block it. No, I told you to block nothing. Whoopsies. <laughs> So you just you run up and you hit 2k just out of throw range. So you just like knock them down and you just run up and do this. From there, uh, close slash whiffs half the time or comes out as far slashes. Mm-hmm. 
Wow, is that really? Uh, oh my god, it doesn't even go into... Okay, it does go into like 2D, but that's not particularly relevant here. Hmm, let's see... Okay, well, if you are close enough, the easy answer is you do 2k close slash, and then you have like a million years to do whatever the hell you feel like. Um, but... Oh yeah, so does close slash. Okay, uh, what would you do after the 2s there? Oh yeah, because you have time to charge it during that. Uh, so like if you run up and you do 2k, uh, and you're trying to do 2k far slash 2s, uh, and it comes out as 2k close slash. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Um, so what I'd say is if you're in match and you're not sure, just assume it's going to be far slash. If it's not, just like sort of make a mental tick in the back of your head to be like, oh, hey, that was actually close slash range. But basically, don't try and space, or don't try and hit the 2K and react to if it was close slash. Uh, I'm not sure that's like in human reaction time during far slash. But try and figure out the range where close slash will come out when you do the 2K. Basically, you can control the spacing of the 2K most of the time. Again, we're saying that this is off of like Oki or something. Uh, and so there is a spacing where you run up 2K and it comes out as close slash. And there's a spacing where you run up 2K and it does far slash instead. And if you can just get comfortable being like, all right, well, my 2K started here. I know what's next then you don't have to worry about reacting to it. And that's, like, honestly, that is the sort of thing that you can just kind of uh, zone out, like, while we're talking or something, just, like, run up and be like, okay, so here I get far slash, here I get far slash also, that one was close slash, though. And just kind of... <laughs> ah, the miles. <laughs> Okay, let me go check something for Venom, though. What is his, like, super general slash button frame data? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, so none of them are plus because Stinger is. Er... Stinger's not... Oh, Stinger's plus if you charge it. Uh and or at mid-range. Which kind? So 
Actually, that's kind of the thing, is you have... If I had to, like, rank you between neutral pressure uh, and combos, I would definitely put neutral at one, combos at a not too distant two, and then pressure, including Oki, um, at around four. <laughs> Like, third, but a bit more distantly. Which, oh yeah, I guess that's something. Uh, in pressure, up close, you want to... You know what, here. For right now, I think I'm just going to focus on frame traps. Because those are relatively straightforward. Oh my, wait, you can... 2k 6p that's hilarious okay one sec uh wait can you just uh so oh no you can't charge stinger through it that's why it's not used i was gonna say 2k 6p far slash is like definitely a thing <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a very... Mm hmm Yeah, charging... I personally hate charge inputs, but it's the sort of thing that you'll just need it to become like something kind of automatic, which will just come with time. But... Not tomorrow. That is true. Uh, we have, so, we have the dance hall. Um, I've had this one reserved for, like, a long time, and I've already double-checked this week. Originally, we'd be doing, like, a big event for all of the games, but uh, Buff the Bluff is also this weekend, so it's going to be, like, basically just the Daredevil finals. Uh, yeah for ultimate. Okay, right, what am I looking at? Uh, okay, so 2k, sorry, Let's see, so 2k, 2h is a frame trap, 2k far slash, if you delay it ever so slightly, is a frame trap. So, this will actually, so this might take you a second to get used to, but what I want you to do is set, go into the pause menu, right, and go down to block settings. And set it to first hit only. Okay, so run up uh, and hit 2k far slash. So space your 2k and just do it as fast as you can. Now delay that far slash by just like the tiniest smidge. So the other thing is uh, these slight delays both give you frame traps that that one is incredibly small. I just checked on gaps and as long as you get the far slash to actually come out. Uh, the maximum gap is three frames, 
which is the fastest button in the game it will trade with, and it's like Jam's standing punch. <laughs> so that is a very tight frame trap. So the only things you have to watch out for are uh, reversals, so DPs, blitz, and backdash. And that's it. That'll catch jump start up too. So if you can get that timing down, uh, and you know to do it faster if you're up against, you know, uh, Soul Volcanic Viper guy, then if they decide to press a button, they get hit. And if they respect you a bunch and don't press a button, then you know what you do? Nope. You 2k. You're like, aha, they're not going to press a button. And so you throw them. That's how you earn your tick throws. So then they are scared to press a button because they just keep getting hit by far slash. Okay, so they won't hit a button. So you throw them. Okay, well they better start hitting buttons so you get counter hit far slash. <laughs> Which, to be fair, I don't know how much you get off counter hit far slash, but hey, it's still damage. Mm -hmm. And then uh, far slash, however, is a little bit different. If you do make them block far slash, you can't Gatling into anything except for dust, <laughs> like stand dust that has a gap as far as normals go. But uh, does it? Uh, nope, it comes very close, unless my numbers in here are wrong, which is like possible. Yeah, it's like if it was able to be delayed by two more frames, you could make a gap there, but it isn't. However, uh, far slash 2s is fine because, I mean, hey, just you get more time to get your charge and you get more time to react if the far slash hit. And then far slash stinger, if you have it there, does have a gap. And uh, if I remember right, counter hit stinger actually does like a lot. And then 2s is the exact same as far slash. Uh, no true gaps off of it, except for stinger. But stinger. So your super basic canned block string chart is you run up and you press 2k at a range where it goes into far slash. Okay. There's spot one. Spot two is immediate far slash or slight delay far slash. And eventually you add tick throw there. But for now, this is just like block pressure. Immediate or slight delay far slash. OK. And from there, once they block that or get hit by it, it doesn't matter. You're doing this either way. You then go into 2s. While the 2s is coming out, uh, actually I don't think it matters. So yeah, then you go into 2s. And then on hit or block, you go for stinger. Uh, is there one stinger that you want to hit with and one that you want them to block to be more plus? Or Okay. Then yeah, so it's the basic string is just 2k, very slight delay far slash. Into 2s, into stinger. And then you're back out at the range you want to be. They took some chip damage from the stinger. And you are at some amount of advantage. Uh, also, no, it definitely looks like, okay, so if it's blocked, do S stinger. If it's, if you're confirming a hit, then do H.
uh, just stinger S is minus two point blank, stinger H is minus nine. What you're thinking of is uh, H stinger is the one you want for YRC, because then it doesn't matter how much recovery it has, because you don't go through it. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, actually, no, Carcass Raid is also Slash. Slash is plus 10, Heavy is minus 9. Yeah, that is the correct response. <laughs> What is the 2k far slash 2s? So for right now, especially because you have an event this weekend, uh, I actually really wanted to do a write-up on pre-event stuff, like pre-big tournament, uh, and I definitely have not had the chance, and I don't think I will get the chance before this weekend. But a very important part of like big tournament play, in my experience, is for like the week, maybe two beforehand, your goal is less to learn new things and more to prioritize what you have down so that you can actually execute what you know. This is a little bit different just because pressure is so core, but like I would spend this next week, well, half week, you know what I mean, uh, like going over your combos that you know consistently and your Oki setups and then focusing on like learn this. If you, or but, where I was actually going with this, sorry, the thing that made me think in the first place, if you have something that you know you should do, but you just, like, do not have the muscle memory for it, for example, uh, block stringing into Carcass Raid, don't try and go for it, and don't be paranoid about the fact that you can't do it yet. Just keep in mind like where you're at and what you can do and use the tools that you actually have rather than trying to like bullshit something together. Basically, uh, if you don't have carcass raid block strings down super well, don't give a shit if you lose your down charge. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it will matter in the future when you decide to spend a couple days being like, okay, and this is, like, what I'm doing this week is implementing Carcass Raid. I'm going to lose matches because I'm trying to figure out how I can do this, but that is my goal. But you're not there yet. For now, it's pressure. Yeah, his 6P has some, like, kind of nutty Gatlings for how fucking good of a button it is. It's all slash and heavy and dust buttons. <laughs> That's nutty. Yeah, kinda. Oh, right, right, that's the other thing. If you really want to leave a gap off of far slash or 2S, or say you like don't have charge or something, uh, it's a little bit of a large gap, but at the range you're at, uh, not everyone can hit you. So far slash and 2 slash into QV is a 7 frame gap, it gets you a ball, and you're plus 2 if it's blocked. So, 
so most of the time you've been going for QV in neutral. Uh, no, sorry, it is plus two. So it's like only very minorly plus, but it is still plus. Uh, or are you saying off of me blocking a far slash? Okay. So, yeah, I think that is one of two things. Either I'm blocking far slash and then saying, fuck it, I'm a stun dipper. That's a frame five button. <laughs> uh, in which case, that is the option that will be QV. <laughs> On the other case, and the one that I am expecting, is you're pressing far slash and trying to see if you hit far slash before inputting QV. That doesn't work. The QV has to be like, basically, once you get to far slash, as you're inputting far slash, you have to be like, okay, and what I am doing here is far slash QV. as just like one item. And if the far slash hits, then I mean, I don't know if that links into QV. Uh, and if it doesn't hit, then you have decided to go for QV. Uh, are you sure that far slash QV? I don't think it, oh, hold up. It probably links on crouch only. Uh, no, I think it just doesn't combo. Oh yeah, sorry guys, maybe I was using bad terminology. Uh, does far slash or 2s QV combo? The answer I'm seeing is no. So it will on air hit, I'm pretty sure, because you use that in one of your combos. And on uh, and on counter hit, it certainly will. Mm -hmm. That's sick. All right. Okay. But yeah, so I guess, honestly, what I want you to think of this string as is 2k far slash or 2k hold far slash. Right, don't have him set to block everything. <laughs> and then uh, react to, like try and react to what they were doing as you came in with the 2k, if it was faultless or if you saw the instant block flash, and then decide if you're going straight into 2s from far slash or qv from far slash, because that is kind of range dependent. Does that make sense, by the way? Mm -hmm. So you want to try and make sure that your like your two S Q V is happening. Okay, so I guess for reference, uh, seven frame buttons off the top of my head are, or seven or faster frame buttons off the top of my head are L felt close slash, jam and L felt 5Ks, 
soul 5k um pretty much everyone's 2p and like quite a few close slashes however if you walk up to the range where qv will like hit the edge of their block and just like stand there and look at the opponent and think about how many of those moves will hit you a couple might stun dipper might but like not a lot of them the real risk yeah the real risk here is either doing it way too close and then they like throw you or something uh, or that they faultless you out and then you whiff the QV and they avoid it because if they faultless you out and then you QV and they run forward then that's funny counter hit QV <laughs> but if they do like faultless you out and then like air dash at you or something then yeah QV is going to lose to that but that's a pretty specific thing. Yep. Yep. Uh off this setup you should because this is this is the 2k far slash 2s qv uh, technically close slash works just as well here it doesn't actually matter which one you get Uh, and also, you have the safe option of QV is the 7 frame gap, right? Uh, Stinger is like 2. So, you know, if you think they're going to mash, then just pop them. Oh my god. I hate going from 2k to like holding back slash <laughs> so much. I keep getting quarter circle. <laughs> uh, okay, you, you go 4, 1, k, 4. That's whack. <laughs> it works.
And you know what? Hmm. For now, also, don't even worry too much about the delayed far slash. For now, it's just 2k, stance slash, 2s, ender. Always simplify what you're trying to learn as much as possible and all that. Mm -hmm. Well, it's also, it just like makes it easier to learn. Because it's much easier to add a slight delay to a string that you're already doing, like, habitually, basically. <laughs> Alright. Generally a good idea.
I'm practicing definitely real things as Elfelt. <laughs> Uh, we will not be playing. There, we might just do like another bracket with everyone in it. But oh, right, shit! That was actually something I was supposed to do today. Was uh, <laughs> have a like write up of how the finals are going to work. Basically, uh, we're going to do round robin. So every team fights every other team, and then either go into straight to grand finals or go from that into a double elimination bracket, uh, largely depending on time, but the goal is to just like get a bunch of matches for everyone. So, so that's kind of the question. Uh, theoretically, we have the venue for like the whole normal SSF day. But if we can get out of there earlier, I would like to. A, so that we can try and convince everyone to, like, I don't know, go do dinner or something. <laughs> but B, uh, because I still feel kind of bad making Sarah stick around, the like, the owner there. Because Saturday is, like, her day off. That's, like, the big reason we can't use the dance hall venue anymore. Because Saturday afternoons, normally she closes at 2, and then that's, like, her day off. And if we're there, she can't do that so I definitely feel kind of bad about that one yep no idea where yet Okay. Sure. Mm hmm. Uh, trust me, I get that one. <laughs> do you want to do one or two more matches before you hop off, or you think you're like good for the night? Okay. Oops. Oh, by the way, I totally forgot to ask this earlier. Uh, what are your display settings in Guilty Gear currently? Uh, oh, sorry, you'll have to exit out of training mode to actually see them. Yeah. Okay, specifically uh, V-Sync, Anti-Alias, Post-Effect, and Dynamic Lighting. Are both on? Okay, so that is exactly correct for any time you are fighting someone offline or in training mode. Online, turning each of dynamic lighting and post effect off uh, gives you one less frame of input delay, so you can sort of make up for online lag. Uh, and same with anti-aliasing down to FXAA. Uh, technically, you can also get another frame from VSync, but VSync is very important. Uh, and can do some weird syncing things. So my like net play settings are FXAA, post effect off, dynamic lighting off, and then I just just like make sure that you check them before you hop on and do stuff uh, solo. Okay. Oh wait a minute! I don't want to be Venom. Hold up. <laughs> uh, Kai or Jam. All right. Sure. Sounds good. Okay. 
One second, why isn't that hotkey working?